Hi everyone, welcome back to Rise of Flight. Here we are with Yasta 8, a new day. January 25th, 1917. 0843 hours. Squadron Yasta 8. Location Rumbiki Airfield. Weather heavy clouds with a base at 1800 meters. Temperature minus 4 degrees Celsius. Barometer uh, 747 millimeters. And we've got a wind speed of 4 meters per second from the north northwest. Squadron Commander Lieutenant Maximilian von Trappenfeld. Ooh. What have we got today? We've got a line patrol. Um, Florian Jaeger uh, is going up as flight lead. We'll be number one wingman. Anton Frey is number two. And Gert von Schoen is number four. Well, that sounds pretty awesome. Let's uh, let's not hang around. There's no other news today. So let's, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, here we are. Line patrol. After my third attack, he did the most stupid thing he could. He fled. Uh, Kurt Wit, uh, Wit, Wintgens? Wint, Wintgens is probably pronounced completely differently. 19 victories. January 25th, 1917, Yasta 8. Weather thickening cloud with light to moderate variable winds. This is turning into a, uh, a weather forecast and simulator, isn't it? Wind at ground level north northwest, 4 meters per second. Cool. Squadron or flight leader, Florian Jaeger. Us as Wingman 1, Anton as Wingman 2, Gertz as one Wingman 3, as we already said. Primary objectives. Follow your assigned route and patrol the area over our frontline positions. Take off 853. Good luck and good revs. Right, so we are obviously Rembiki, we are here. We're going to be heading down here uh, to our line and, uh, and then we're, we're patrolling the entire area, are we? Gonna fly up here to the action point. For me, formation to point, V formation, speed to waypoint, 135 kilometers an hour, altitude at waypoint, two and a half K. Okay, and then obviously you're gonna fly back. Brilliant. Okay, we're gonna head to the uh, the airfield, get into our aircraft, and we'll get underway. I'll see you in a few. Okay, here we are. Let's just fire up. Flare is a gun. There goes flight lead. It's, uh, reading the power. And away we go. Ooh. I think I pulled up a little bit too early then. She wanted to uh, pull to the right. Didn't quite have the speed. Cock our guns. And make sure the other guys. Number four is airborne. Good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, it's supposed to be getting cloudy. It doesn't actually look too bad at all, doesn't it? It's kind of like the weather we've had all the time. It's been quite nice. Clear skies with a bit of, bit of puffy cloud, but nothing... Uh, Nothing terrible. Lots of low sun. That is the problem. It's like the winter sun. It's ever, ever so low on the horizon. That's why I don't ride my motorbike in this uh, this time of year. The sun is always too low, and you, you never get to see the cyclists until the uh, or the motorcyclists at the last minute. Same thing. Visibility can be an issue. Uh, but we're up. We're away. We've got the other two coming to catch us up very shortly. Uh, so we're going to get into formation and start heading towards the front line. Uh, I'll skip to that as we usually do and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi guys, here we go. We've uh, we've got a contact. We've been climbing up. Those two are going to break off. Oh, they're all going to break off. I better go with them. I thought two of us were going to break and two of us weren't. We don't want to go in this cloud. Oh no, the water on our goggles. We don't want to ice up the engine. I don't know if that's in this game, but um, 
Uh, there we go. So there's our squad mates. And as you can see, we've got what looks to be an observation or a bomber up there. So we, I think that's what we're going to check out. We just need to climb up a little bit. Well, our, um, what are our mates doing? They're actually buggering off, aren't they? Surely that's got to be the primary... He's, sk he's skedaddling. Got some high flak. What we got here? There are our mates. We are going back for him. Okay, we're just climbing by looks of it. Okay, no worries. He's... Uh, it's actually beautiful look at it up here. Look at that cloud, that's gorgeous. Um, but as we circle up here, and we go back, yes, I know we've got to get some altitude, but he's gone. Could be the cloud just blocking the, uh, our sight on him, but um, yeah, they're just going back and forth down there. It's like they're expecting to meet something here, but it, I think the target's actually gone over here somewhere. Let's go and check it out, see what it is. If we can see it anymore. Some flak over there, so we know where our buddies are. I can't see this bomber or whatever that. Egg. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What have we got over there? If I get the. There's something over here. If I get the. Uh, the wing just to uh, take the sun away, you can see there's some sort of activity going on over here. There's that bomber. It's getting flak from our friendly forces, right? Let's try and close in on it. It's not ideal. You normally want to be attacking with the sun at your back so they don't see you coming in. I'm trying to see if there's any flak or anything for uh, where our buddies are. Now nope, we're going it alone. Right, can we have a quick look, see what this is? Uh, far too far out at the moment. We're above it, which is good. If it is an observation or a bomber, then it's most likely going to have a rear gunner. So we need to be aware of that. So if we can maybe attack from the side. It'd be nice to check out what it is. Oh, it's, uh, it's one of those British aircraft. I don't think it's, it's like the one we saw earlier. Is that the one with the gun in the front? Uh, so if we go low, actually, if we come out, we, we should be able to be able to attack this aircraft low from behind. Because I think the gun is at, in the front, at the top. beautiful isn't it absolutely stunning anyway let's not worry about that we've got some uh, killing to do okay here we are closing in on him uh, nothing fired yet see it's just got that little compartment uh, so we should be able to attack quite freely from about here, down here, in this kind of angle. I want to get closer. I don't want to waste my firing wild. Stick button got stuck down there. Oh god. 
Yeah, got too high. I'm gonna stay low, stay low, stay low. He's still got his bomb. Okay, hang on. I've got a sticky joystick button, which is not helping. He's got a big bit of damage in his... Whoa, too high. He's got a big bit of damage in his wing. How's our wings looking? Got a bit of, bit of uh, loose canvas there, but... Oh god. Not too bad. I think there are wingmen over us. I hope there are wingmen over us. There's three of them, so it's most likely going to be them. Low. Stay low. I don't want to come up. Let's um get this uh, balloon more here. Boom. Whoa. Got our eyebrows scorched. That front gun looks like it can swivel almost 360, so I think we're going to stick to what we're going to do. Attack low and just pull up and try and get some shots into her. We are on the wrong side of the lines at the moment. So keep an eye out for any enemy fighters which might buzz us. There's the bomb. There's the gunner. Let's try to actually take the gunner out. Like a colander now. That must get so much lift from that. Because look at the wings. There's barely a bit of canvas on them. Stay below. So that gunner can't get us. I'll come up. Whoops. There we go. Caref oh, careful of the bits of bobs. Boom. And he's gonna spend the rest of his days in that little 
copse of trees. Right. I think we might be smoking actually. That looks at that's yes, we are smoking. Um so we are first of all gonna get onto the right side of the line and then we will see if we can't finish our patrol. That way if we do need to make an emergency landing we'll be on the right side of the front line. Hi everyone, the inevitable's happened. Uh, our engine's packed up. So we've got a good bit of height though. Um, so uh, what we're going to try and do is just glide over the front lines. Look at that. It almost looks like those buildings spell out some words, doesn't it? Yeah, we should have plenty of height to get over the, uh, the front line and then we'll just try and uh, land in a field. I think we just burnt up uh, our remaining engine oil, which is a bit of a shame, but um, one thing we don't want now is to be jumped on by uh, any fighters, because that would be a bit of a bit of a bad timing. But with the engine off, you can just sit here and enjoy the uh, the ambient wind noise. Oh, what's that over there? It's just distant flak. That's okay. But, oh, what we got up there? Three aircraft. I hope they are friendly. Uh, so there's the Allied front line. We are coming over no man's land there's our front line over there we should be okay we should definitely make it keep an eye on those three aircraft don't want to be jumped right now destroyed bridge down there not surprised with all that shelling and we oh, look at the damage in the canvas looks like the uh, the wood uh, strength in the uh, in the wing seems to be okay, but we are now coming over the front line, kinda. So yeah, we we look to be good. Where are those aircraft? They're a long way above us. Well, we're gonna don't want to aim directly for that large wooded area because that would be a bit of a tricky area to land. Oh, look at those explosions! Wow, artillery still getting out this far. Look at it go! Oof. Okay, we want to clear this bit. We don't want to get taken out by an artillery shell. Okay, we're gonna get aim for this uh, just beyond this light yellow field here. I don't know why I'm playing. You can see me playing with the throttle. It's going to make no difference whatsoever. I could probably do a bit of sliding the aircraft to slow her down. But, you know, we're trying to keep some speed here. Let's get the let's get the dragger in, to the skid in to slow us down. There we go. Well, we're down. Uh, we're in one piece. The aircraft is in one piece. Obviously, we've. Just short of a little bit of engine oil, that's all we need. Um, oh, actually, no, we need a little bit of patching up. We got a bit of uh, canvas damage. Took a couple of strikes through the old canvas, as you can see. We were quite lucky not to get hit ourselves. And obviously, one of the uh, the engine cylinders, perhaps, took a hit. 
Uh, but we're down, safe and sound. So, um, yep, we're going to uh, wander over to the nearest person, local farmer, see if we can get this toad back to base, and uh, we'll be ready to go again tomorrow. So, let's end the flight and uh, make that journey back to Rumbiki Airfield. Okay, here we are. V for victory. Primary objective completed. Secondary objective none set. Mission time 27 minutes. Tafon exile. It says we actually crashed, but you know, we, you know, no, we, that was an emergency, a successful emergency landing. We were able to destroy one plane and one balloon, uh, and that was grand. Our other three wingmen, and the flight lead, should I say, and two wingmen, uh, they were still flying at the time, and they had not claimed a victory for themselves. So here we are then, uh, just further confirmation of that mission. Uh, we were uh, able to score three, so um, yes, we much better than our fellow flight guys on that one, uh, which is pretty good. Um, enemy, we shot down Anthony Thompson. Oh dear, Anthony, in his FE-2B. So he's got a weird aircraft with the um, the rear is just that kind of, yeah, that kind of, uh, almost like a kite kind of frame. And they've got the gun on the front there. Yeah, so, although he did get some hits on us, we did try and do the uh, the correct procedure, although we didn't actually get it executed perfectly. But we knew what, exactly what we had to do, we just didn't quite have the skill or the execution to get it right that time. But we still downed her, and we still were able to successfully make it back over the lines, which is good. Okay, so here we are, our biography. There we are, doing okay. And as you saw, we've got the um, the FE-2B to our kill. Tell you that's six kills in total, which is pretty good. That puts us um, 13,553rd in the all-time list, which is um, awesome. <laughs> ah, plus a balloon, of course. Don't forget the balloon. We also took down the balloon. And then we have our pilot's badge, our Iron Cross second class, and our Iron Cross first class, which is pretty good. So there we go, guys. Another mission down. Uh, yeah, not exactly the way we saw that one going, I think, to begin with. Um, but we were able to take the bomber out. We were able to take the balloon out. Uh, and we were able to get back home with a reasonably intact aircraft. Uh, just a little bit of patching up needed. And we are fit as a fiddle, ready to go next time. So that is what we will do. I hope you'll join me for that as well next time, next week, with... Rise of Flight in Yasta 8. I'll see you next time.